Linux Mint and Solus are similar to each other in more ways than one can imagine. They both have their own custom desktop environments, they both have similar workflows, they both are stability focused distros, and they both are dedicated to the idea of providing a great computing experience on desktops. But they have their differences, both technical and ideological. So when you compare them side by side, which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you, Linux Mint 19.1 or Solus 4? Let's find out. What's get up, this is Linux Techs. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Solus 4 features its own budgie desktop environment. Budgie desktop is written from scratch for Solus using GNOME technologies. Budgie has a tried and tested bottom panel based design. The menu is highly functional with category wise arrangement of apps and a neat search. The search is fast and accessible. The menu greatly supports focused work on your computer. Solus has a side panel which houses notifications, quick settings and important applets. This side panel makes work so much more focused and fast. Solus desktop has this modern look to it with very subtle animations and effects. Linux Mint on the other hand is famous for its homegrown Cinnamon desktop. Now Cinnamon and Budgie both have a rather similar design blueprint but differ in their final implementation. Cinnamon is one of the most loud desktop environments and looking at it, it's quite clear why. Cinnamon desktop is highly intuitive, elegant and just so gorgeous to look at. Cinnamon incorporates the latest technologies but it aims to occupy the least amount of screen real estate, which is great in terms of productivity. The desktop is very easy to use thanks to its simple design. Cinnamon is also highly customizable with a wide range of themes and additional widgets called spices. The effects and animations are there but not so much that they distract you from your work. I really love working on Cinnamon desktop. It has this homely feel to it. Solus desktop looks much more glossy with cool animations and stuff while Linux Mint's Cinnamon desktop is more mature with better font rendering. I give both the distros a point each as I like both the desktops and it's rather a subjective point. You might like one, I might like the other. You can choose whichever you like. Next, we'll be having a look at the stability of the two operating systems. Solus is a rolling release Linux distro, which means all the components of the OS will be continually updated. But Solus is not too fast in pushing updates like Arch Linux. And this provides a stability factor to it. Slow or fast, whatever updates are pushed to the users are very stable, tested packages and there are no complaints about stability on Solus. Linux Mint on the other hand has a completely different update model. Mint is based on the long-term support version of Ubuntu which means it is a stability focused distro with a support of 5 years. Linux Mint has always been conservative as far as updates are concerned. The most stable packages are selected, tested and then pushed to the users. And except for stability updates, they don't even ask you to update if everything is working just fine. This provides a very stable and dependable computer system when you want to install an OS and forget about it. Whatever their release models are, both Solus and Linux Mint are extremely stable and highly dependable. Both Mint and Solus get a point each for stability. Solus has its own independent software repositories. These repositories have been continuously growing over time. Now the standard Linux packages are available on Solus, but not everything is available in Solus Software Center. The repositories are still growing and if you need a software that is not available in the official repositories, your only choice would be to use a universal format like App Image. Moving to Linux Mint, it is based on Ubuntu and being based on Ubuntu means access to the huge Ubuntu software repositories and the PPAs. The Ubuntu software repositories are huge and contain a very large number of software. Pretty much anything you need can be installed directly through the Ubuntu repositories. And the software that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories are brought to you through the use of PPAs. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or the maintainers themselves, which you can generally trust and install from. Almost all the developers support Ubuntu by providing either a PPA or a .deb installer, which can be installed on Linux Mint 2. So in the software availability department, Mint has a huge advantage over Solus. Solus is slightly more resource intensive than Linux Mint. This might result in Mint feeling slightly snappier. When I installed both Mint and Solus on my very old laptop, Mint was a little bit faster than Solus. This might be because Solus is a modern OS with a modern desktop meant to be used on newer hardware. 
Performance in terms of gaming and larger tasks like compiling is very similar on both the distros. Although Mint felt a bit quicker than Solus, I am still gonna give both the distros a point each for performance as there was no considerable speed up margin between the two distros. Both Solus and Linux Mint have a good number of games in their repositories. Steam and Steam games can be installed on both these distros and the performance is good. Steam officially supports only Ubuntu at the moment, so it would make more sense to use Ubuntu or a Ubuntu based Linux distro like Mint for gaming on Linux as Steam games are tested and optimized for Ubuntu. So the gaming point goes to Linux Mint. Linux Mint is one of the most used Linux distros and therefore it has a huge community. Mint has a huge pool of troubleshooting and help resources available online. It should be noted that pretty much any guide written for Ubuntu will be applicable to Linux Mint to the dot as Mint is Ubuntu under the hood. And Ubuntu has one of the most extensive and organized community support among the Linux distros. Ask Ubuntu and a number of independent forums and websites provide a detailed, beginner-friendly support to Ubuntu and Mint. Solus is a growing Linux distro. Solus is completely community-driven. Solus community is very loyal and supportive. Solus community comparatively is very small, but people on the forums are very friendly and helpful. Most encountered issues are all solved out in detail, but it is sometimes hard to find solutions to hardware specific issues, especially if you have some less popular hardware. So in the community support department, Mint scores a point. My respect for the amazing volunteers of both these distros. Mint and Solus both have a very simple, straightforward installation. All the steps are very clear with definite instructions and confusion-free interface. The installation generally takes around 20 minutes for both these distros. When installing Solus, make sure to create a partition for Solus using Gparted before launching the installer. Both Mint as well as Solus have built-in applications that easily install proprietary drivers for your NVIDIA graphics cards. So that's really nice. Solus and Linux Mint get a point each for easy installation. Personally speaking, I really like both Solus 4 and Linux Mint 19.1. They both have a good user interface that promotes productivity. They stand out from other distros with their innovative approach in designing a desktop operating system. But when you compare Solus against Mint, the sheer age and maturity of Mint shows a lot of advantage. Fonts are rendered visibly better on Mint. The dark theme on Solus sometimes messes up things like colors and icons, even the websites you open on Firefox. The applications that I use for development were all available in Solus, but Mint generally has a better software availability. Even with these points, I really loved Solus. I could definitely use it as my daily OS. Mint on the other hand is just flawless. Based on what I felt using both these distros and not on the pros and cons, my personal point is a tie today. But by the total tally of points, Linux Mint wins. Well, that's it for today. If you are new to my channel and like this video, do consider hitting the subscribe button below to be notified of my new content. This is Linux Tech signing out.